Good morning, guys. It is another day to get another workout in. It is 7.55 my time, but actually I've been up since 5.45. I had a, um, a GEF meeting today that went amazing. GEF is doing so many amazing things. Like, I'm so honored to be a part of it, first off. But I was up for that, and it was an hour-long meeting, and then I had some stuff to do after. Now I'm here with you guys, dedicating myself to getting these workouts in with you guys. And just so you know, I'm proud of you. If you just started working out, you've been working out, continuing to work out, like just the fact that you're getting up, watching these videos, getting yourself in the gym, or even doing stuff at home, at a home gym. I'm gonna do a video like that soon too, where you could just not have any weights, all body weight stuff. But the other day I definitely did jumps and ran on the stairs and you can run anywhere right so it's no excuse so um right now i'm about to go ahead and get ready brush my i already brushed my hair <laughs> brush my teeth wash my face and then go to the gym and then we're gonna hit arm day so let's get into it okay guys we made it to the gym so this is actually my at home gym in my apartment so i'm gonna show you guys around because this is your first time actually being in it it's small but it's worth it i have everything in here that a person needs to get an amazing workout in so let me show you around are sore they're tender and instead of just neglecting them I'm gonna get them moving around a little bit get some blood circulation flowing and hopefully it'll help me tomorrow and also I'll um, I'll roll at the end of this workout make sure I roll my legs out just because it's sore sore and a little stiff so let's get into it as you guys know I'm a little sore so I wanted to warm up with the bike even though we're doing arms today it's always a good idea to warm up, so that's what I'm doing right here. Let's get ready to go hard today. Come on. So right here, we're basically doing bicep curls with the bar. The bar is already 45 pounds. This is a warm-up set for me, but if this is your normal set, that's fine. Start at your 100%, like we always tell you. It's about getting better every week. Let's do it. 
The only thing with this bar being connected to the actual equipment, you can't fully get up and do a full curl like you would be able to with just the bar. So if you have just the bar, that's great. Do a full curl. If not, what I'm doing is still acceptable. So this right here will be my second set. I like to do three sets of these, getting 10 reps each single time. You also might be wondering why I bend my legs slightly. That's just a habit when lifting weights. You never really want to be straight up with anything you do. Alright, what we're about to get into is called dumbbell flies. I'm not at the point where I can actually do a dumbbell because we only start at 15 here. But you want to make sure you're not locking out your arms when doing this. It's for your chest exercise. So don't completely lock out your arms. Go down and bring it up. Just like that. Three sets of 10. Let's go. So I actually like to superset these with dumbbell presses. So you can try this at home or wherever you're at in the gym, but this is a good arm workout to get yourself going. better angle of the fly so you see I have a little bit of bend in my arm so I don't hurt myself at all so make sure when you're trying these exercises to get this form right here my third and final set of each exercise make sure when you get in the gym you do three sets of ten for each and try to get better every week let's do it
now we're going to get into the bent over row. So this is a great arm workout. I love this workout. You want to kind of stagger your legs, stand back, and put your other arm on the dumbbell. And as you can see, I'm pulling the weight towards me. So this is a great workout to start doing, especially if you're just getting into arm workouts. As you can see, I'm trying to drive my elbow back and pull with all my might. So if you can't do this with the 20 pounds, I'm doing that. It's totally fine. Do your 100%. If it's 10 pound dumbbell, then do it. It's all about getting better, baby. Let's do it. Now here I try to show you a better angle. I also do three sets of 10 for this as well. 10 each side. Let's get it, baby. Right here we're starting off with planks we do at least a minute if you can't do a minute yet that's fine start off with at least 30 seconds just holding your body weight up and making sure you plank and engage your core tighten your glutes and make sure that back is flat Woo! ready mm -hmm. go My partner is doing more advanced core. For me, I'm just starting off. So I'm just looking to engage my core, engage my glutes, and have a flat back. But I'll do three sets of these. Each one is one whole minute. love it here more core exercises so for this this is clear it's just up and down with your legs and engaging your core and making sure you do not touch your heels to the actual floor you want to get them as close as possible but not touch the floor that really engages your core this exercise as well I do three sets I try to do at least 15 but just remember to engage your core and not to let your heels touch the floor good job today that's the end of my workout i appreciate you guys for tuning in make sure you tune in every tuesdays and thursdays for more workout videos let's keep being healthy all 2022 see you guys next time